Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John Lesson 6 1 John 3 verses 1 through 10 In the sixth of fifteen lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with these ten topics. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that when he appears we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning, no one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God, and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. From the 4th century, instead of, has given to us, some manuscripts read, has given to you, or gave to us. In some places, the Greek hemin, you, sounded like the Greek humin, we, and scribes could easily mishear them when one was reading the text and another was writing what he heard. Likewise, from the 4th century, some manuscripts read, Know you, humas, instead of know us, hemas. In verse 5, from the 4th century, some manuscripts read, We know, instead of you know. And others insert our in front of sins, as in 1 9, 2 2, and 12. Some manuscripts read technia for children, which occurs in 3, 1, and 2, instead of paideia, a synonym that appears in 2, 14, and 18. In both cases, the translation, children, remains the same. Many of the first readers of 1 John knew John himself and had read the Gospel of John. 1 John 3, 1 through 10, further develops the section on our adversaries, contrasting the children of God with the children of the devil. The Greek word for destroy meant to do away with or to bring to an end. Jesus abolishes the works of the devil amongst Christians. In 1 John, the far demonstrative that one serves as a pronoun referring to Jesus. Hope is more than a wish, 
It is looking forwards to something with some reason for confidence respecting fulfillment. It is our expectation. Lawlessness is a state or condition of being disposed to that which is lawless, the opposite of righteous. It is anarchy. Sin remains any departure from either human or divine standards of uprightness. Greek verbs do not require a subject noun or pronoun, for their verbal endings indicate their subject, person, and number. For example, verse John 3, 2, the Greek says, when appears, without a subject, but with a third person singular verbal ending. In this case, the subject of appears is the same as the subject of the preceding appeared, namely, what we will be. Likewise, shall be and shall see have no subject noun or pronoun, but both verbs have a first-person plural verbal ending implying we as their subject. In contrast, in verse 3, the verb is has a subject, the third-person singular masculine demonstrative that one, ekenos, referring to Jesus as in several other verses. Thus one could translate verses 2 and 3, What we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that when it appears we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is, and everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as Jesus himself is pure. Only teach Greek grammar if learners are able to understand it and are eager to learn. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable ideas and summaries from the passage. For examples, three great contrasts, eight marks of sinners, nine characteristics of sin, three points about the devil, and three points about God the Father, seven points about God the Son, and fourteen points that describe real Christians. Note that the children of God are born of God and of God's family. Whilst the children of the devil belong to the devil, the devil has no power to grant life. Righteousness Jesus practiced righteousness by always obeying God his Father. Christians practice righteousness by obeying Jesus' commandments. Jesus commanded Christians to believe in God and in him and to love one another. Righteousness is believing that which is true about Jesus and showing love towards Christians. Unrighteousness is to deny the truth about Jesus or not to show love for Christians. Christian Sins Christians practice righteousness because they are born of God. But Satan tempts Christians to sin, and Christians sometimes commit sins. When they do so, they feel shame or guilt. When Christians confess their sins to God, he forgives them and cleanses them from all unrighteousness. When Christians are being tempted to sin, they should ask God for strength to resist the temptation and to flee from it. After someone or several have read or recited 1 John 3, 1 through 10, in small gatherings of learners, pose queries such as these and let everyone discuss their replies. What have you learnt from this passage about God? About Jesus? About sin? About the devil? Whilst preaching, teaching, or leading, recommend ways in which to apply the passage or put it into practice. For example, review seven basic commandments of Jesus, then identify anti-Christian teachers in your city who habitually transgress Jesus' commandments. Invite everyone to confess to God all sins they know they have committed and not yet confessed, citing 1 John 1 verses 8 and 9. Add to your chart of future events 
the appearing of Jesus and our being made like him. Assure those who obey Jesus that they are already God's children, members of his family. Lead troubled individuals to ask Jesus to remove their sins and to destroy the works of the devil. Please read five times 1 John 3, 11 through 18 before you view the next video lesson. Please leave comments or queries or write to me at the download site. I shall try to reply to you by email or in a video.